Hey Magic players, Brian here for MTG Frontier Guide bringing you a budget deck test. This week we have Mono Red Prowess. The point of this deck is to hurry up and win by either dealing direct damage, combat damage, or both. Alright, so let's start with the creatures. We have playsets of both Monastery, Swift Spear, and fresh off Amonkhet, we have the Soul Scar Mage. The Swift Spear is one of my all time favorite cards. It's only a 1 drop, has Prowess, Haste, and it's a 1 2, which is great for blocking little creatures. Soulscar Mage is also a 1 drop, 1 2 with prowess, but it lacks haste, man, but his ability is insane. If a soul she control would deal non combat damage to a creature an opponent controls, put that many negative 1, negative 1 counters on it instead. Holy smokes, do you get how insane that is? Let's say you shock a 4 4 creature. Sure, it didn't kill it, but it sure did weaken it. It also gets around indestructible, so if you manage to get 10 neg negative 1 negative counters on Ulamog, Goodbye, Ulamog. Okay, so next we have three copies of Abbot of Carol Keith, two copies of Bedlam Reveler, and three copies of Bloodlust Insider. The Abbot also has prowess, and his Enter the Battlefield ability is real helpful. Since we are running an aggro deck, we don't really have a lot of cards in our hand most of the time. Check it out. When he enters the battlefield, you get to exile the top card of your library, and until in the end of turn, you may play that card. This is super helpful to get you that extra direct damage or pump spell or land the turn he comes in. Remember to not play a land the turn he comes in until after his ability resolves to make sure you're not throwing away a land. We also have this big guy, the Bedland Reveler. He's a big 3-4 body with prowess as well. Yes, I know, I know, the CMC is high, but read the card. It costs 1 generic mana less to cast for every instant and sorcery spell in your graveyard. So if your games get a bit grindy, you can cast them for just 2 red mana. And the last creature here is the Bloodlust Insider. Sure, he seems like a little one, uh, a little one for one for one, but he has the added bonus of being able to tap to give him uh, to give another creature haste. This is great since you generally don't want him attacking since he's only a one one and doesn't have prowess. Next up, we have all our instant spells. We have lots of direct damage that can be used to either hit your opponent uh, or take out their creatures. We start out with places of lightning strike and shock, and three copies of fiery temper. These are all great cards that can deal damage to either the opponent or to a creature. Fiery Temper also has the added bonus of being able to cast it for madness, so if you're discarding it, it only costs one mana to cast. Alright, so to finish up our instance, we have two copies of Stoke the Flames, a playset of Titan Strength, and two copies of Teamer Battle Rage. Stoke the Flames is pretty crazy. It deals 4 damage to either a creature or a player, but it has Convoke, which means you can tap your creatures to pay for it, leaving your mana open for other spells. Titan Strength is a really solid card. It gives your creature plus 3, plus 1, and it lets you scry 1. Never underestimate the importance of a scry. It can make all the difference in a game. And then lastly, we have an aggro deck staple, Team or Battle Rage. For the low cost of 2 mana, it gives your creature double strike. Not only that, but if you time the rate trigger right, it also gets trampled. Okay, so let's break this down a bit. Let's say turn 1, you drop a Swift Spear, so for 1. Turn 2, drop another Swift Spear and hit them with a Shock, so for 4 because of Prowess. They're already done to 13 life. Turn 3, pump 1 of the Swift Spear with Titan Strength and give it double strike with Team or Battle Rage, and you're swinging for 15 damage with those Swift Spears. If you get through, it's game over. We round out the spells with two sorceries, Exquisite Firecraft, three copies of those, and Collective Defiance with two copies of that. Exquisite Firecraft deals four damage to a creature or player, and if you manage to trigger Spell Mastery, then Exquisite Firecraft can be countered. This can make all the difference when playing against a counter magic deck. Collective Defiance is a Swiss Army knife of a card. Let's break it down. So you pay the initial three mana and get to choose one of the modes in the card. You can escalate by paying one more generic mana. For each mode you want to choose, up to 3 modes total. First mode is target player discards all their cards and draws that many cards. This can be super awesome to throw off the tempo on a confident opponent or to get a do over on a bad hand. Discarding also triggers madness on the fiery temper, hint hint. Second mode, it deals 4 damage to a creature and the third mode, it deals 3 damage to target player. And now for our mana base, we just need 20 mountains, that's it. And now for a sideboard, which can vary depending on your local meta, but these are some good options for you. We have Active Treason to take their biggest creature and hit your opponent with it, that's always fun. Arcbond, uh, Arcbond is a really fun card, it can either wipe the board or at the very least turn a loss into a draw. Glorious End is also good for when you need a little extra bit to finish your opponent, and Rose is great for taking care of big creatures like good old Siege Rhino. 
All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Mono Red Prowess Budget Deck Tech. Remember to like and subscribe. It really helps us out a great deal. Also, leave a comment. Let us know what you think of the deck and if you gave it a try and if it worked out for you. Again, this is Brian with MTG from Tier Guide. Get out there, have fun, and play some magic. Bye.